Well, here we are on the AMX again. <clears throat> We're still. And this fender's been caved in pretty good here around this lip. I've got a all couple inches. At least this much in here. It's just sheet metal. And it's been caved in and lost my curve. And I've got a little dent there in the front of it. So what I'm going to do is pull this wheel off and uh, see if I can get this, this uh, lip and fender straightened out here. Shouldn't be too bad. I can get a body hammer behind it. See if I can get it knocked out. Get this straight. Well, the first thing I did was work on this half inch lip around here. I got it pretty straight. It looks like I've got a little bend right here. And then uh, once I can get this a little straighter, then I'll work on knocking some of this in where I've mishit it with a hammer, trying to get this place out. And uh, just keep pressing along here. Take this den out and see what happens with the. pretty good and I'm gonna got some little dents right in here I'll try to take those out and get them straight that'll put a little more pressure on the fender to be straight well I got it fairly straight looks like there's got a a little bit of an inside curve. Let me look at the other one. Oh, this one's been bundled up, but looks like it's going straight and then starts coming out and goes back in. Probably ought to take the bundle off of that and see what it really did look like. Well, like always. Another quarter inch of bondo, but I can more like see the metal here. It looks like it, it's coming out and goes in and comes back out again. And I think that's probably the shape that it should have. And that's basically what I got here. This guy is going back in about three or four inches down from the body line. And body line's gone here. But right there is where it's going in, so that's probably three or four inches. try to take the rest of this bondo off and see if I got any kind of line in that fender. Well, I stripped this back far enough. Don't look to me like there's any kind of line. There's a little bit of one in the door. And I can't really see anything in this fender. Take a look at the other side. Well, for sure there's a, a body line here. <coughs> and this fender was 
a replacement fender so I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to look like I'll just have to use my best judgment on it here so this looks like it's got a cave in and I really don't want that I think I should be straight all the way down I'll see if I can beat this fender out a little more well that's a little better still have a little bit of curve to it but uh, trying to bang on it I'm putting more dents here I'll see if I can take these out and uh, the rest of this I'll fix with body filler well, I took this big dent here on the top out <clears throat> sanded it all down so I can see my high spots did a pretty good job on that one almost got it perfectly smooth a lot of little ones in here mostly hammer marks from the inside so I'm gonna just try to tap these uh, little high spots down and uh, it was pretty even so I think uh, this is probably good enough throw a little primer on it looks like it might have a little high spot right there tap that down but I think this is pretty close to what the fender is supposed to look like got a fairly good straight portion there it can be adjusted with Bondo a little <clears throat> I'll do is fix this one best I can and then uh, I'll try to get this same shape over on that other fender all right I put the first skin of Bondo on it took it down to the metal and now I can see where it's trying to come out here and uh, the shape of the fenders kind of flowing so I need to put another little coat mostly right in here Fill up my low spots, press along. Well, I put a couple more thin coats on here, sanded it off. I pretty much got this uh, inside curve out. Might need a little bit more. But I'll do that with a probably a 80 grit a little later. For right now, I'm gonna just throw some primer on this. That'll tell me a lot more of what I got to do. Threw a little primer on it. Dang, you can really tell it was rough work. A lot of those. Uh, 40 grit scratches in it on the other side yeah it just got a, a million little dents in it this was uh pretty much taken down to the bare metal especially right in this area here right there right in here is the worst back don't look too bad we 
Got a big bad kink right there. The fender's loose. It's not really bolted down. And it looks like it's bent there in the back. But getting this fender is going to be another day's work. At least uh, wife stripped it down for me and she likes to scrape paint off and things like that. So that saved me quite a bit. I used some farm and implement primer. Man, it's really heavy duty thick stuff. Must have took me 30 minutes to get it mixed up. Yeah, I got a lot of beating on this. And uh, at least I can see what this one looks like. I still have to bring that fender well out a little. But uh, I'll just clean up my mess. It's going to be it for today. I'll try to finish this fender tomorrow. Still have all of that to do and the roof, this whole door. Uh, at least I got the back done. I'll move on on this one.